Chapter 12 Friction We discussed about friction in the chapter force and pressure there we learned that friction is a contact force and it is an opposing force what is friction friction opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact friction is a force that comes into play when two surfaces come in contact with each other the frictional force or the force of friction acts in the opposite direction of the motion of the object the force of friction opposes the relative motion between the surfaces of two moving objects what are the factors affecting friction the first factor that affects friction is the surface irregularities if we move an object with an irregular or rough surface on another surface which is also irregular the force of friction will be high in this case and the movement of the object would be restricted if the surface of both the objects are smooth the force of friction would be less and the object would move easily over the surface even smooth surfaces have large number of minute irregularities on them if two surfaces are pressed hard the force of friction increases between the two surfaces if they are pressed hard and hence the movement of the object becomes restricted that is if the weight or mass of an object is higher or more means there the frictional force will be more however if there is no pressure the object can easily move types of friction first one is static friction the frictional force that comes into play until an object starts moving is called static friction an object has to overcome the static friction in order to start its movement sliding friction comes into play whenever an object moves along the surface of another object such a movement is called slide and sliding friction is the force that opposes the movement or slide of an object third one is rolling friction when an object is rolling on a surface the force of friction which acts upon it is called rolling friction fluid friction in science the common name of liquids and gases is fluids when an object moves in a fluid the fluid exerts a force of friction upon the object the frictional force exerted by fluids is called fluid fluid friction or drag fluid friction or drag here we can say that rolling friction is less than sliding friction and sliding friction is less than static friction what are the advantages of frictional force frictional force is necessary for various purposes in our daily life such as it allows us to walk on the earth surface and it allows us to write with a pen on the surface or a paper it allows us to fix a nail in the wall a moving object would never be able to able to come to the state of rest without the frictional force it would not be possible to drive any automobiles on the road without the friction it would not be possible to construct any buildings without the frictional force these are the advantages of friction now what are the disadvantages of frictional force frictional force result in wear and tear of objects wear and tear of objects such as the moving parts of a machine the tires of a vehicle or soles of the shoes etc it also results in the production of heat in the case of machines the production of heat leads to wastage of energy the frictional force also leads to a decrease in the speed of a moving object or some time stops it it can lead to noise pollution in certain cases for example aircrafts produce loud sound due to the resistance of the air 
these are the disadvantages of frictional force how can we reduce or increase friction how can we reduce or increase friction increasing friction how can we increase friction sometimes we need to increase friction so as to avoid slipping of objects for example the sole of the shoes is grooved so that the friction between our feet and ground increases and we can walk safely the tires are threaded so that they can have a better grip over the ground and allow the smooth movement of the vehicles brake pads are used in bikes to stop them suddenly from moving by increasing the amount of friction kabaddi players rub their hands with soil which helps in increasing the friction between the hands and allows them to have an easy grip on the opponent gymnasts also apply a coarse substance on their hands so that they can have a better grip due to increased friction in their hands these are the ways by which or these are the situations in which we need to increase friction so as to avoid slipping of objects or to do some work perfectly without slipping 